Here I am with Adrian Glawacki. Uh, Adrian is originally from Poland, uh, currently fights out of UTC in Birmingham, and tonight he is on the uh, the amateur card, and it is his uh, MMA amateur debut tonight. Adrian, how are you today? I'm okay, thank you. Excellent. You train in a very, very uh, good gym, UTC. We know your guys very, very well. How has your preparation been going for this fight? Uh, I want to do it my job today, tonight, exactly. I, I train hard, I train with good sparring partners, and you will see later. Excellent. Well, you look very determined, and I know that Poland, the guys from Poland, are always strong and always come to fight. And obviously, with the backup of UTC, we expect some big things from you tonight. I like your smile. I always like to see people smiling. That shows me that you want to fight and you're ready. And so, I'm, because of that, I'm really going to be looking out and I'm going to look forward to seeing you in the cage tonight. Best of luck, mate. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, here I am with Daryl Gilson. Uh, Daryl is in fight number six this evening. However, Daryl also, um, if he wins his fight, uh, will be potentially an alternative for the tournament this evening. Uh, but obviously, if we get any injuries. Um, so obviously, Daryl, um, you know, you've got a, a, a potentially a long night ahead of you, really. Yeah, um, you've got obviously a, 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 your first fight, and then obviously from there, you don't know what's going to happen after that. So how have you sort of prepared mentally for this? Well, then being in the tournament sort of just last minute but the fight I've just been working on like last time just a, a bit of stand up a lot more ground just more better stronger points just training properly smarter instead of just all out excellent just get up in the standard a little bit good stuff well you look like you're in good shape you look like you've been training yeah. hard um, is there anyone you want to thank uh, before you go on tonight well all the boys from the club Sudan obviously Martin Sheridan Steve Tom that's in the tournament himself Dan Beckett that's unfortunately out and then just the other gyms I've been using, BST in Northampton and Kevin Shoot Fighters, just all helping out. Just, yeah, just everyone that's given their time. Well, I don't know about you, Jay, but I think the roof just came off here at Athena in Leicester tonight. We have got two very well back welterweights here. Adrian Glowacki in the blue corner. Conveniently and very, you know, thank you for colour coordinating, Adrian. He's got blue shorts on his opponent. Daryl Gilson in the black and grey shorts. Yeah, as you mentioned, both guys have got big support. It's Glovacki who's making his debut in the cage tonight. His opponent there, Crossman Gilson. This, is, this will be his second fight. And shooting in for the takedown there. Gets under the hips, but Glovacki has done it. Well, almost did a good job of stuffing the takedown, but just gets slung to the mat like a wet towel. Yeah, Gilson was just like, no, 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 that's not happening. You're going down, thank you very much. The power of him. Yeah, he's a stocky, strong-looking guy. I mean, it has to be said, Glowacki looking uh, good at the weight as well. They do both look good, but Gilson, he almost looks like a middleweight, doesn't he? I mean, he's not, because he weighed in at 170, obviously. So, I think it's just that he's got a little bit shorter, so he's... Yeah, and they're exchanging kicks there. Glowacki landed the, the more telling low kick to that lead thigh of, uh, of his opponent just a little bit short of his punches so far as Gilson he's just um, not quite extending him and, and finding his mark and like the wacker there who uh, landed a nice jab and found it over the right hand just chasing his man across the cage yes we're seeing nice combos from both combatants today so far a little bit of head movement there still got caught just in the log hole there with that straight jab yeah, Glovacki has uh, used his longer straight shots. You know, he's a taller guy, he's got a bit more range and he's been using them well. Gilson just uh, struggling, just, you know, half an inch off the off the pace there, just a little bit. But he did look good in the wrestling range and he managed to take Glovacki down, so, you know, maybe that's an avenue to explore. He is, he's going to have the power, the centre of balance, and he's, he's going to be slightly better suited naturally to the wrestling. But realistically, you know, I mean... He needs to move, he needs to move his angles and, and utilise the power and get inside of Glowacki's reach. Glowacki shooting for the takedown, but a nice ball there from Gilson. Gets his hips out of the way and lands on top. That was a nice work to uh, go from the defensive strategy right into that top position. That's Under up there for Glowacki though. Looking to come out to the back. Scramble up to his feet, nice work. And just pumping that jab out, Gilson uh, trying to load up on the kicks. Nice right hand gets through. Yeah, those straight shots 
from Glowacki. They've just got the reach and they're straight down the pipe. Boom. Yeah, he needs to be careful on the inside though. You saw where uh, Gilson loading up on that overhand right. You don't really want to be in the way of it. Just loading up a little bit too much on his shots as Gilson in round one. Okay, so round two, about to get back into action. Gilson fighting out of shootdown, Glowacki fighting out of UTC. Yeah, fairly back and forth, even first round, both guys had some success. Yeah, we saw Gilson's opening shots actually just about coming into reach there. And again, there, you hear that satisfying thud of the contact. Yeah, and he's uh, rather a little bit more reckless of him to start round two is Gilson. He really wants to land that leather. I think he's realised, hold on a minute, that three minutes didn't take very long. Look at that nice reversal there from Glowacki. Gilson's gone on top, Glowacki's claimed half guard. What's he going to do with that leg? Are we going to see strikes? Are we going to see him try and free the leg? Yeah, Gilson's worked well in, in all of these wrestling scrambles and he's managed to come out on top in every one. Good, you know, it, good initiative, but also good technique from him there. He needs to watch out for that up kick. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, Jay. I mean, oh. that, you can generate a lot of power from the bottom there, just sticking that heel up into someone's jaw. You don't, be one of, you don't really want to say one of those. No, you're absolutely right, you can and it can land with devastating consequences. You are obviously allowed to up kick from the ground. There we go, referee Leon Roberts, he's seen enough of that. He wants both fighters back to their feet. Yeah, Glowacki really needs to start using his range again and get behind those straight shots. If he steps too far into Gilson's range, then he's eating them big over and right. Walking forward, and boom! That was fantastic. Just great timing there from Gilson. He just waited for his man to overcommit to the shots, ducked under, big slam, almost puts him through the mat. And a nice control, just driving some moves into the body. Nice tight underhook, maybe a head and arm choke. You can see though that Glowacki's got his right elbow down. Is he going to look to try and reverse and escape out the back door? And uh, Gilson standing back up to his feet. It gives Kowaki a little bit too much time there and uh, all the way back up and will resume this fight standing. Absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you what, there's a couple of things I think here, Jay. Number one, I think that Gilson is working the takedowns to score points. I don't think he wants to actually finish. And number two, I think his beard looks a bit like Wolverine's. Just yeah, to throw that one out there. It is pretty impressive. And there we have a little bit of contact. So... Yeah, I think the, just a the gum shield out there. And, uh, you know, things, the tide was starting to turn for Gilson a little bit, in my opinion. He might be glad of a little break to come out and, uh, you know, a, maybe a little bit of a switch up of tactics. Yeah, I think if he's relentless with this takedown, he's going to certainly score well in the judges' eyes. He's running some nice low kicks as well, and again... Oh, there a it is. There it is. That's two in one round. That's timing, perfect timing there from Gilson. He is, he's now, he's now learnt his opponent, he's learnt, and again, look, he's up, he's not interested in grappling. No, he looks under these amateur rules, and uh, as Glowacki went for it, he gave his opponent a pass, and then more emphatic round for Gilson in round two. Round three, if you can hear us through the sound of baying spectators. Gilson coming out again now. We've seen him turn round two, work those takedowns, and not interested in grappling with Glowacki. What do you think we're going to see from round three, Jay? Well, round two is certainly more successful for uh, for Gilson. You know, he'll want to repeat that formula in round three. I've got no doubt he'll be trying to do you know exactly the same thing. Put Glowacki on his back, score them points, and uh, yeah, try and get the win, try and get the nod from the judges. For me. The second round put the pressure on Glowacki to really come out and try and stamp some authority onto this fight. And he does it, he's looking for take down of his own, but again, that anti-wrestling of, uh, of Gilson, and he finds himself on top. In all of these wrestling exchanges, he's finding himself on top, and for me, it's where he's uh, winning the fight so far. 
I have to agree with you there, Jay. Gilson is, uh, he's got a formula now and it's working and it's now, the ball's in Glowacki's court. He's got to turn it around. Well, he's shown us he's got some nice striking, good straight punches. He needs to really sit on his shots and, you know, I think he's going to need a finish. Yeah, the problem here is that Gilson is now using Glowacki's strikes and timing his takedowns. Exactly that, and he, he almost tried to do it then, just as you said that was. As uh, Glowacki comes forward and commits a little bit too much to the shots, Gilson was just ducking under, taking the hips and uh, landing some actually quite spectacular slams as well. Yeah, those slams, Gilson slams, they are devastating. I mean, you, you can feel them. And uh, the UTC corner of Glowacki really trying to spur him on. You know, they're saying we need more, we need action. Really trying to push that man on. And I don't think they're uh, too far off the mark there. That, you know, Glowacki needs to come forward. He needs to throw everything at Gilson now. And two nice shots there. There is a bit of blood from Gilson's face. Oh, right hand wants to wobble Gilson. That's going to spur Glowacki on. He's taking a breather there is Gilson. I think he's, uh, he's worked hard these first two rounds. A bit of blood coming from the nose as well. But I think Golak is tiring as well. The pace is certainly slow, Jay. Both guys are, are feeling the pace of this fight in the first two rounds. You know, mouths are open, blood's flowing. And, uh, you know, they, it's just pure grit keeping Gilson in it at this point, I think. It is his heart. Both these guys have got plenty of heart. And we see this as the weight categories increase. You do lose a little bit of speed until you get to my weight category when they just sit down. And that's a 10 second clap. There we go. Fight's over. It's been a close fought one and they're uh, having a little bit of a hug on the ground there, enjoying it. I don't know how you saw that one, Lloyd. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of hard-fought action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, scoring the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner, Darren Gilson. But let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Adrian. Cloud Wacky.